Hello friend, uh, today's topic <sighs> equilibrium. Before we are going to start the equilibrium, first we know about the what is the equilibrium. In equilibrium, uh, in little question is to show that the if a if a number of forces if uh, resultant number of resultant forces acting on a particle is zero the particle will be equilibrium in such a set of for set of forces which result in is zero are called the equilibrium forces the forces which bring the set of forces equilibrium is called the equilibrium and before going to discuss the principal equilibrium there are uh, there are many type of equilibrium such as the three more important subject point of view there is a two uh, force principles, three force principles, and four force principles. What are the three force principles? The what is the <coughs> two force principle? As per the principle, if the body is equilibrium, is acted upon by the two forces, then they must be equal and opposite and the collinear. These call the two force principles. Three force principles. As per this principle, if the body is equilibrium is acted upon by the three forces then the resultant of any two forces must be equal and opposite and collinear with the third forces is called the third force principle four force principles and third force four forces the two forces must be equal and opposite uh, opposite collinear of the resultant of the two other uh, forces now define the what is the equilibrium in equilibrium a state of a system where all the forces acting on the system is balanced is called the equilibrium now the topic lemming's theorem what is lemming's theorem in lemming's theorem uh, if the three collinear and concurrent non collinear forces which keep on the object in static equilibrium with the angle or directly opposite to the Corresponding the corresponding of the forces, corresponding of the forces is called the Lemmy's theorem. How corresponding to this? If the if a force A is uh, another two forces corresponding angle alpha and another force is B, the corresponding angle is beta and C, the corresponding angle the gamma. Now, according to the Lemmy's theorem, we can write here the A force is directly proportional to the sine alpha that means opposite of the other two forces and angle between them similarly b force is directly proportional to the opposite of the two forces and between this angle is uh, sine beta and c forces the angle between the forces is gamma then we can easily write the c by sine gamma then we can easily write a by sine alpha is equal to b by sine beta is equal to c by sin beta this manner we can easily write according to the lemmy's theorem we can see the how can i prove that the lemmy's theorem here we can see that there is a three angle and the it is the it is a it, it is the geometrical figure when i proving the lemmy's theorem now that these three forces we can write in the, is a uh, is one uh, is a one of the parallelograms now prove that the how can Lemmy's theorem can be proved in by extended figure? Now let's see. Here uh, the AOC is the angle in find out the uh, BP is P and AC is equal to Q and AOC is equal to 180 minus beta and AC is equal to BOC. Uh, AOC is equal to BOC uh, is equal to how much? AOC is equal to BOC is equal to 180 minus alpha and AOC is equal to 180 minus beta um, then see the figure the this one uh, uh, then OB, uh, then uh, AOC is equal to 180 minus already find out and OA is equal to P and OB is equal to Q and then the angle between then BOC and is equal to 180 minus 180 and 180 minus how much uh, 180 minus alpha then again now we can see that 
the angle between the a o c is equal to how much it is the triangle uh, summation of the all the angle of a triangle is 180 then c a o is equal to how much c a is equal to 180 um, minus this angle and this angle is equal to putting the value of AOC plus ACO is equal to how much 180 putting the value 180 and AOC already find out 180 minus beta and ACO is equal to how much AC is equal to 180 minus alpha then simply simplifications then find out the value of value of value of how much that's value of ACCA is equal to alpha plus beta minus 180 then again alpha plus beta plus gamma is equal to how much 360 then uh, 360 then alpha plus beta is equal to 360 then again solve these uh, equations then find out the value of CAO is equal to how much CA is equal to 180 minus gamma this way can we can easily find out the three angles a, a o and c angle in this uh, 180 minus gamma 180 minus beta and 180 minus gamma then this value and uh, these three values we can easily understand the how can i uh, how can i find and how can i write the earth in three's value in this manner this way again you can see the bp is equal to uh, bp is equal to p and s is equal to q then that aco is equal to alpha plus gamma plus 180 and alpha plus beta 360 now now the according to the theorems is equal to what according to the, according to the theorem we know that a triangle aoc is equal to a a o by this here see the triangle AOC is this triangle. This triangle law, law of the triangle is equal to ACO and the here you can see the AOA by angle AOC. Then, uh, then AC by uh, AC by sine AOC equal to OC by sine ACAO. Then OA by sine ACO sine ACO is equal to how much? Sine ACO is equal to already find out the 180 minus alpha and ac is equal to how much 180 minus beta and oc is equal to how much one sine uh, 180 minus gamma then we know that the oc is equal to what now oc is equal to what here we can see that oc is equal to this figure oc uh, o c is equal to k what r then oa is equal to p and ac is equal to q now here we can write the this value in the equations then we can easily find out the uh, find out the three values this way then oa is equal to putting the value of oa is equal to p and then sin 180 minus alpha is equal to how, how much 180 alpha minus means alpha then similar way ac is equal to ac is equal to q and 180 minus beta sin 180 beta minus sin beta and r is equal to sin gamma means sin 180 minus gamma is equal to sin gamma this way we can easily prove that uh, prove that the uh, the Lemmy's theorem in this way. Next lecture, and we can see that the how can I find out the simple problem in the by applying the Lemmy's theorem. So, thank you, student.